Hi, I'm Stephanie. I am here at the Christie Clinic uh, Department of Dermatology. Um, I am an esthetician here and we offer a variety of skincare services um, as well as products here within our cosmetic suite. We are located downtown Champaign at 101 West University Avenue um, on the corner of University and Neal and we are in the lower level. Um, and today I wanted to walk you through kind of a mini facial, something that you can do at home without having to come in the office. Um, and so I wanted to kind of take you through the steps as far as doing a thorough cleaning, um, a exfoliation, a mask, and then we'll just finish up with a light moisturizer. Um, so first we have the foaming facial cleanser. Uh, this is by Elta MD. This is definitely a staff favorite um, here in the uh, dermatology department. It is um, oil-free, sensitivity-free, paraben-free, all of the good things. Um, I use this all over my face, even to remove eye makeup. Um, it definitely has um, a gentleness to it. It will help mildly exfoliate um, while kind of removing impurities, makeup, oil um, without stripping your skin. So that's one of uh, my favorite things about this product. Um, I used to really feel dehydrated after cleansing um, and after using this, um, my skin feels normal and pH balanced when I'm done. So the first thing I wanna do is I kind of moisten my fingers and kind of wet the face a little bit here. And then we work on the foaming facial cleanser. Also, you always wanna make sure that your hands are clean kind of before you start any sort of process. So what you should notice is that your skin should kind of foam up within the first 30 seconds like it's doing now. If it doesn't, you probably want to repeat the process. Um, reasons it probably wouldn't foam um, is due to maybe if you're wearing makeup that day, sometimes at the end of my day with my sunscreen and everything on, I'll notice that it didn't um, foam. And so I just repeat the process because your first cleanse, you're just kind of removing those impurities and the second cleanse is kind of like your true cleanse. So just so I don't have to move away from you, normally if I was at home, I would just be rinsing in the sink but just so I don't have to turn from the camera, I'm just gonna use a wet towel here and remove like so. So that's step one. So skin's nice and clean. Next thing we have is the Aha Baja Exfoliating Cleanser. This is by Skin Medica. Um, I love this wash, it's brightening. Um, it has tiny little jojoba beads in it, which help to exfoliate, but it's not gritty or harsh. I never feel like it is scratching my skin. Um, this does contain salicylic acid in it, so if you are using it in the morning, make sure you're putting on a sunscreen so you're not sensitive to the sun. Um, it helps with uh, texture and tone, so if you struggle with, um, let's say, sunspots, or um, I struggle with post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation from my acne, um, and so it does have a nice brightening to it just for overall luminosity as well. So with this, same thing, I just kind of moisten my fingers. My skin's already a little damp from cleansing and you don't need a whole lot. Learned that the hard way when using this. I was definitely using too much product, so a little will do it for you. I just kind of dab it in areas and work it in. So again, I can feel that it's kind of mildly exfoliating. I can feel those little jojoba beads. And I tend to focus on areas that I'm concerned about, like my nose is an area of congestion. Same with my chin, but overall you're just gonna kinda work it in. These products are safe for all skin types, which is really nice, um, but if you are a little bit more on the sensitive side or being that it's winter, you tend to dry out, I would definitely only recommend using the exfoliator maybe once to twice a week. So same thing, just gonna remove that. So now we're exfoliated. You wanna exfoliate because as we age, our skin cells tend to slow down. Um, and so by exfoliating, you're speeding up those skin cell turnover and your products can kind of penetrate and act a little bit quicker, do what they're supposed to do. All right, so the next thing that I have is the Pore Purifying Clay Mask. This is by Revision. Um, it comes in a nice little tub. There is a spatula in there that I do recommend using um, just because if it's a tub, you don't wanna cross contaminate and kind of stick your fingers in there. So I do recommend using the spatula um, because we're demonstrating, I've already got a little bit pre-portioned here. Um, and same thing, um, I'm just kind of using my fingers to show you because this is normally what I would do at home. And you can use this all over the face 
Again, gentle exfoliation. It helps with congestion, so I am just gonna apply it for demonstration purposes to like my nose, a little bit out on the medial cheeks, and again, my chin. You do wanna put on a generous layer with this, and then you let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes. So I'll do other things, I'll brush my teeth, go back to my show, whatever it is I may be doing, and just kind of let this sit. Another nice trip with the, or trick, I'm sorry, with the pore purifying clay mask is um, I tend to get inflammatory acne, um, and I will just spot treat, and I will literally leave that on um, for the duration of the night. I wake up, a lot of the, um, the redness um, has kind of settled. Um, sometimes the lesion's nearly completely gone. So that's another nice little tip with this. Again, it can be applied all throughout the face. Um, you do wanna kind of stay outside the ocular rim here. Um, don't apply to the eye area. Um, same with the exfoliating cleanser. Don't use this to remove makeup just due to the um, acids within it. So 15 to 20 minutes, and then you can remove. All right. And then the last thing we have is actually a newer product to us um, and Elta in general. Um, it's an Elta MD Skin Recovery um, Light Moisturizer. It's from their new um, skin recovery system. So I like this quite a bit because I tend to get a little dehydrated in the winter. So it's very lightweight, feels nice under makeup, nice under my mask, um, and it doesn't feel too heavy at all. Um, it does have antioxidants in it, so it'll help kind of fight free radicals and different pollutants that your skin comes in contact with. Um, and it also is good for compromised skin. So after something like an exfoliation, or maybe you had a treatment in office, this is safe to use. And that's it. I ended with a moisturizer just because normally I would do this regimen at night. But of course, if it's something that you're gonna do in the morning, just be sure to add sunscreen. Thanks so much for watching. For more information on Christie Clinic Dermatology, check out our website. There you can sign up for our email newsletter, find out more information on the products and services we offer, as well as get an inside scoop on our monthly specials. Thanks so much for watching and have a good day.